All right, email us at slviewers at abc15.com. If you have an ingredient that you want Chef Paul to cook with, and why, obviously, and if we choose your ingredient, then you know what? We're choosing you, too, and you are coming into the kitchen to cook with Chef Paul. So, uh, all right, Ralphie, what, what would you pick? What would the secret ingredient be? Um, I think times are tough right now, so I would go with the cheaper meat and how to make a cheap meat that's affordable for a family into a great meal. So I would choose, like, oxtail. Um, <laughs> oxtail's great. It's a lot of flavor. Um, if you just get past it, it tastes great. You know, stew it up like that. It's fantastic. It's, it's actually, it's, it's anything with a lot of bone on it and a lot of... Just a lot like, of flavor. Not to get wacky, but connective tissue has a lot well, of flavor. Well, the good thing is that I will be standing to the sidelines and... Whoever picks that gets to eat it, not me. It's, it's delicious. It's beef. It's, it's just, it's, all, right. all it is is the, the tail on the meat. All right. So I don't know if you realize this, but this man worked at the Four Seasons. He also mm -hmm. worked at NOLA, a super famous restaurant. Yeah. And he's got the skills. And we were chit-chatting before, and he was like, you know, man, if I was going to do that dish that you were doing, I probably would have separated the yolks and the whites. Oh, Maybe you were like, telling him how to do it? Yeah. No, we I would have we done it different. Yeah. I would have done it. I would have put more air in it. But it's really a dense thing. I mean, this, this food is really dense. I don't know if the camera can see. You know, when it's done, it'll pull away from the plate like it is here. All right, so this is not ready. So you wouldn't even attempt this right now. Mm -mm. Um, but it's cooking good. It really is. And it's great. I also would have put my garlic in later because garlic tends to burn on me. Well, that's I why I cut it so big. Yeah. We're just going to um, have So a, that I, I wouldn't have to worry debate. about it burning so much. But that's a great point. Ex mm -hmm. Excellent point. All right, so what are we doing now, Chef? Well, he's going he's gonna to do the salad, and I'm mm -hmm. going to have you hand me that plate over there. Okay. And we're going to flip this guy I out. wash my hands, too. I always got to do that. Yes, ma'am. That's all right. <laughs> You got to wash your hands. I wanted to see how cooking. fast you could you could chop, but you were going a little slow. Well, I wanted to get them all even, okay. you know, make them pretty for TV, you know, <laughs> little. Yeah, because he told you, Chef John Paul told you to dress the salad, and you knew exactly mm -hmm. what that meant. Yeah. yeah. That Raise basically it means put the that stuff in it, right? Needs a little more pepper, right? Okay, yeah. One more with that. There you go. Okay, so we are finishing this. You're going to put that gonna there, turn this flip out. it over. All right. Now, yeah. I let this sit for about a half an hour to set up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, all right, so we got nice caramelization because this was cooked mostly on the stove. All right, if I popped it right in the oven, right, so I got a little bit of browning going on here. I'm going to throw it in the oven just to finish it off. Okay. When I pull it out, it's kind of souffléed up, like he was talking about, if we whipped up the egg whites. So I wanted that to kind of crush down a bit mm -hmm. so that it would be a little bit denser. Okay. And now we're going to give it a cut. I'm going to steal your knife from you. Go, Daddy, go. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go Nice boom. vinaigrette. And... When you dress a salad, you really have to eat it really quick because the greens wilt and it just it just becomes horrible. This, the whole bowl has been chilled, so it'll stay fresher, quicker. Uh, do that at home before you bring it out to the table. Cool your bowl down and you'll have it. Now it's dressed, not too light, not too... That's the great thing about a vinaigrette. It flavors everything, but it doesn't swamp it like it does like a, like a, a goofy uh, ranch or something like that. Look it just you. dominates yeah, I it. Think, uh, it just <laughs> dominates the flavor. This one actually lets you taste, taste the, uh, the vegetables. And, you know, you really should. They're not that expensive. They're great for you. They're great for kids. Teach your kids early to eat vegetables, <laughs> and uh, they'll eat them for their whole lives. Um, my baby, uh, they request them. They request vegetables. The more, the better. What is your favorite thing to cook? We're not. We're done with you, Chef John I, Paul. This I'm is all. Saying. I'm learning. What, what, do, what, what is my favorite made. thing to cook? Yeah. Um, I'm. A, I like Cajun Creole, um, heavy French influence. You know, classic. But I also. I mean, the three best uh, cuisines uh, that started it all for me are uh, the Chinese, the Greek, and uh, I. I pretty much stay in those basic. In the, in the Italians, they really took food to a new another level. You know. Um, um, but I love it. You know, a fresh salad like that is, and the wedge of this, it's got everything you need. It's got protein. It's got chorizo, tons of flavor. Um, it's, it's great. Lots of protein. It. And then this great salad. Something's got to give, you know. You want to try it? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, cut me a piece, too. Is it good? Tremendous. Chorizo is not too spicy, either. Good, because I don't... I'm it's good, and, and once again, if you want a little spicy, you can throw some chilies in there if you wanted yeah. to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the I'd potatoes. Chop up a jalapeno. Mm. Oh, that really is good. Yeah, really right? good. Oh, it got a little kick. I got the kick. You did. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sniffling up on you. that. Oh, that is fun. awesome, though. That right, is awesome. So if you, you ever need a job, I mean, if, if this comedy thing doesn't work out, I know, man, I know, you call I me up. We'll get you a job. Because that was brilliant information. <laughs> well, you got to tell them, people. And also, when you cook with pine nuts, because we have little pine nuts in here, um, if you want to activate and have more flavor. Roast them in a dry frying pan, and just make sure they're dry, not to burn, but it just enhances the flavor, and it'll sweat them out a little bit, and the oils come out. It really adds a lot more flavor. 
Wow. All right, Ralphie Mae is going to be at the Improv, and uh, Chef John Paul <laughs> is maybe going to be in the front row on Sunday watching. <laughs> And, awesome. and you've got to see this guy. If you've never seen him, he is absolutely hilarious. I'll I, make you laugh. I've had the opportunity. <laughs> he is just, in, I was in tears. And you'll, awesome. be, uh, you'll be making us laugh with things you couldn't talk about here. Oh, yeah. I'm a talking. filthy, dirty animal, okay? <laughs> I am, but you'll love but it But truthful. Most. Truthful. Very Definitely. truthful. It's all Definitely. stuff that we think about, but we can't say exactly. on TV. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thanks so much for coming on the Thank show. Thank you so and much, for cooking. Andy. We're going to eat some more, and wow. um, we hope you guys have a great weekend. Happy Friday.